Hi friends, welcome back to my videos. Let's learn some more fundamentals. Today we are going to learn about multiple sequence alignment or MSA. We will learn how to perform a multiple sequence alignment using cluster omega tool and how to interpret results and significance. I hope you watched and enjoyed my earlier videos in this series. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and please give your valuable comments to improve further. Here I am giving you an idea of multiple sequence alignment using only English alphabets. You can see there are more than two sequences to align and compare. And you can also see that there are a few boxes showing identical alphabets in all the four sequences which indicates a conservation of these alphabets amongst otherwise randomized sequences. Similarly, a MSA is a comparison exercise amongst nucleotide or protein sequences. MSA aligns and compares at least three nucleotide or protein sequences and can compare up to hundreds of them. MSA therefore gives us more useful information than pairwise alignment and especially in case of proteins, if we can focus more on conservation amino acid or residues to find out their importance in evolution. We can perform an MSA by using many sequence based or structure based free softwares like Cluster Omega, T-Coffee, K-Align, MAFFT. All these softwares belong to European Bioinformatic Institute and operate in a very similar manner. Let's see the process of performing an MSA using Cluster Omega the most popular MSA tool. We need to input minimum three sequences in FASTA format along with their identifiers. Here you can see that I have first chosen a protein sequence from protein database of NCBI, the human gamma globin. If you do not know how to use protein database and how to run BLASTP, you can refer to my earlier videos for which I am providing links in my description box. BLASTP results give us many matching proteins to human gamma globin, we can choose from here which proteins we would like to compare. Here I have chosen six protein sequences and I wish to see how important is this protein by checking its conservation. Now I have downloaded these six gamma globin protein sequences in FASTA format. FASTA format removes any numbers or gaps in the sequences and is acceptable in most bioinformatics tools. Now we open the cluster omega through its link. We choose the protein option because here we are using only protein sequences. So copy paste our FASTA format sequences which are separated by the identifiers and just press submit. And here are the MSA results. We can see that each amino acid or residue has been shown with a different color. And also there are various tabs to see more details about the results. We are viewing alignment right now. Also here on left hand side we can see the accession numbers or IDs of these six proteins. Here are all six proteins which are well aligned and they look fully matched. Let us change the view to the next tab which is tool output. Now we see this view of the same alignment with many special characters like star, double dot, single dot. So what do they mean? Star indicates that the compared sequences are identical in this part. Does this indicate that this part of the protein is highly conserved amongst different species and therefore must be crucial for the protein structure and function? Maybe that is why the evolution did not change these portions of the sequences. Star positions score the highest indicating homology. Double dots indicate that the residues might got changed due to mutations in DNA sequences but still have a strong physicochemical similarity with the previous residue. For example, if one type of basic amino acid is replaced or substituted by another basic amino acid, these substitutions still score high and are positive. Single dot represents somewhat similarity among substituted residues and thus score lower could be zero or sometimes even negative. If we just scroll down, we can see the button for alignment with colors. Let's see this. Same colored single letter codes for residues here represent those amino acids which share same physical chemical properties. Like blue colored E and D symbols represent glutamic acid and aspartic acid respectively, both of which are acidic in nature hence replaceable with still high and positive score. Similarly, all red ones are hydrophobic residue. The next two tabs are about guide tree and phylogenetic tree. 
A phylogram, which is a phylogenetic tree, has been generated by the software. This is for gamma globin protein of those six sequences which we input. Let's analyze this. The lowermost dot or node shows two close by branches from human and chimpanzee, showing that their gamma globin protein sequences are highly similar, followed by bonobo's gamma globin and then by that of Sumatran orangutan. The topmost node shows two closest branches from olive baboon and green monkey. This result depicts homology, which shows how similar or dissimilar are gamma globin proteins in the six organisms which we compared. We can also see a same phylogram in a radial view. The interpretation is the same. From these results, we can suggest that all these organisms might have had a common ancestor from where they diverged. That is why their gamma globin genes have high similarity. MSA is a primary requirement to build such a phylogenetic tree. Now here is a percent identity matrix. This matrix shows all six sequences compared with each other. In the diagonal, same sequences matched with the same sequence showing identity. Different highlight colors show the percent identity score matches. However, the highest match score is between human and chimpanzee gamma globin sequences, showing their closest evolutionary relationship with respect to this protein. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you could understand how to use cluster W for MSA. Similarly, you can try uh, MSA for nucleotide sequences as well. If you have any questions and suggestions, please comment. Your comments are always welcome. In this series, our next video will be be on translate tool from XPASI where we will learn how to use this software to translate a nucleotide sequence into a protein sequence and its various features. Don't forget to watch. Till